Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. I'm calling this series The School of Prayer. In each episode, I'm going to explain a method of meditation from the Catholic spiritual tradition. And after the fairly concise overview of the method, I'm going to demonstrate it. This means this episode is mainly going to be guided mental prayer. So if you're looking for some kind of Catholic entertainment, this isn't the video for you right now. I'm going to teach you about prayer and then lead you in guided mental prayer so that you will then be in a position to use this method of praying in your daily holy hour or however long you set aside for meditative prayer. Today I'm looking at Lexio Divina. So this method of prayer has its origin in the Benedictine tradition, going back to Saint Benedict, the founder of Western monasticism. Lexio Divina means sacred reading. There's going to be a lot more silence this week. So although I will be guiding you in prayer, there's going to be a lot more personal engagement with the scripture on your own. And this is a really wonderful method for praying with all scripture, not just the elements of the gospel that, for instance, St. Ignatius's uh, method lends itself to. There are four phases in Lectio Divina. And note that the terms that St. Benedict and the Benedictine tradition uses they actually have a meaning within this within this methodology for and you'll see that particularly with the the fourth step contemplatio in the Carmelite tradition and also in the later the later western tradition with saint alphonsus and other later writers contemplation means something other than it does for saint benedict uh, say contemplation in in that tradition is is resting resting in an affect and even listening to God within an affect and letting the Holy Spirit uh, infuse infuse uh, affects uh, within within your soul. In in Saint Benedict's tradition, it doesn't have that same uh, same notion. Okay, I'm going to go through the four phases. Going to describe the methodology. So the first step, lexio. In this step. You read the text, you read the text, and then you try and understand literally what is happening. So then after reading the text one time, you might then have a look at a commentary or footnotes before then reading the text a second time. That's lexio, that's the reading of the text, the first step. And there should be a short amount of silence after Lexio to grasp what you've what you've read to take it in. Now the second step, meditatio. Now this step involves reading the text slowly, very slowly, and I'm going to be doing that. Reading the text very slowly, and after having heard the text read very slowly, you then, and also while you're hearing the text, you try and apply the text to your life, maybe asking, what is this text saying to me? What is God saying to me in my, in my life, in my story, as I read this text? So during this long, slow reading of the scripture, it's probably a good idea to look out for specific phrases that strike you. And then after the slow reading, there's a more extended period of silence. I've put 10 minutes in the, the one we're doing today. And that is for you to dwell on the phrases that you've picked out, to try and wonder why you were drawn to that phrase, what that phrase is saying to you about your life. Or um, there might be a few things, if you might be a few words that you underline, really try and focus on them one at a time dwelling on the richness, the richness of that word. This meditatio is the chewing of the word. The first part, the lecture maybe is, is just taking it into your mouth. And then the chewing is, is the meditatio. And that chewing 
probably continues into the third part and, and also some of the delight of the chewing, some of the taste in the third part, the oratio. Um, so there's another reading of scripture now, not quite as slow as, as the one that preceded it, but a slow reading of scripture, reviewing the text once again. And after this, in the extended silence, again, 10 minutes I've put in our session, this is where oratio, you speak back to God, having chewed over the word, having chewed over over the the phrase that struck you, you then return to God with petitions, with affects, with requests, with with gratitude, looking at the Lord in response to this this word that you've received and which you have chewed over. And then finally, contemplatio. And this is where you, we read the text the final time. And after which, you let the word of God challenge you. And in many ways, this contemplatio is the fruit of the other sections. The growth that comes from the other section. The growth that comes from eating this food. In this section, you, you challenge yourself. You allow God to challenge you to live differently as a result of the scripture. You ask for God's help to be more fully converted to him. And you thank him for this time of intimate communication. The text I'm using is Psalm 63. Again, I've put it in the description box, but the text is going to be on your screen also. I'm going to begin with a preparatory prayer and conclude with a thanksgiving prayer. The timings that I have set for this exercise are designed for a, a 30 minute or so session. If you want to do an hour, then just do exactly the same thing, but increasing the time for silence. We're going to begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, I acknowledge that I am in your holy presence, that you see my thoughts, that you hear my desires. Help me to realize how near you are to me at this very moment. Help me to remain conscious of your presence in this time of meditation. O Holy Spirit, whisper into my heart the wisdom that you wish me to receive through your Holy Scriptures. Guide me, O Holy Spirit. Enlighten me, O Fount of Light. Share with me your wisdom and change me to be holy. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouths of liars shall be silenced.
context. This is a psalm written by King David. When he wrote this psalm, it was at a time when he had suddenly been cast from his throne. He had to flee Jerusalem because an enemy had invaded Israel. David wandered through the wilderness to escape the pursuit from his enemies. As he did so, he turned his heart to God. He sought the presence of God in his time of crisis and fear, and he found it. O oh God, you are my God. For you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God and all that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouths of liars shall be silenced. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body 
pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory for your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life in your name I will lift up my hands my soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night for you have been my help in the shadow of your wings I rejoice My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All that swear by him shall be blessed. For the mouths of liars shall be silenced.
O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry weary land without water so i gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory for your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all that swear by him shall be blessed. For the mouths of liars shall be silenced.
O God, you are my God. For you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All that swear by him shall be blessed. For the mouths of liars shall be silenced.
I give you thanks, Almighty God, for this time of prayer. Help me to remain continually aware of your presence throughout this day. Grant me the grace to live according to the resolutions that I have made. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.